historical accuracies, the place for the real truths of history all revealed. I'm your host, Reginald Cook. Today, we will be taking a look at the French Revolution. The French Revolution was believed to have started in 1789, caused by high taxes, the high price of bread, and unfair parliamentary representation. Recent developments, however, show the true cause and course of the French Revolution. Let's take a look. Are you planning on taking any course of action to combat the zombie problem? <laughs> zombie problem? Uh, pardon moi, but the zombies are under control. <laughs> That's a meat cake for all I guess. There is not a zombie problem. Outraged by the lack of protection from the king, the third estate attempted to storm Versailles. They went to the nearby tennis courts and created the Tennis Court Oath. After this, when the king and queen were placed under house arrest and the new government was formed with a promise to rid France of zombies. However, all methods of containing the zombies failed and many party officials were bitten. This gave rise in popularity to the Jacobins, French for zombie killers. The Jacobins presented a new way to control the zombies, the guillotine. It was the most enlightened way to effectively terminate zombies by simply severing the head from the body. Now let's take a look at some actual footage from the main leaders, Robespierre and Anton. Would you mind telling us about yourselves? <laughs> oh, yeah. my name is uh, Maximilien Robespierre, and this is my, mon ami. Je m'appelle Georges Anton. Uh, what is your plan concerning the zombies? Oh. <laughs> well, we have an ingenious invention, the enlightened way to kill the zombies. The guillotine. The guillotine, you see? We will gather up all the zombies and put them in the prison. Then we will bring them out on carts, put them up in the stocks, and then the blade will fall. The head will be separated from the body. We oui. heads will roll. As time went on, the zombies proved to be more difficult and numerous than the guillotine could handle. And any number of mishaps could happen along the way from the prison to the guillotine. Let's see how they're coping, shall we? Eh, Danton, I have heard rumors to your being involved in that. French East India Company scandal. What? I would never be involved in such a profitable scandal. Danton, the people love you and I think they are crushing my authority. Max, you must be joking. Shh. What's that sound? I don't hear... Ah! <laughs> Robespierre, what happened to your friend Georges Danton? He's it's difficult to explain. Unfortunately, it was every man for himself. And there was nothing I could do to save him. What about the recent scandal involving the French East India Company? Would you elaborate? That has nothing to do with it at all. Look out the window! Hurry, run! But Robespierre, leave him! Hello again. I bet you're wondering how it all turned out. After zombie Robespierre was guillotined, the radical Jacobin government fell. Many peasants began to lose hope of ever fixing the zombie problem until one day, a short man named Monsieur Bonaparte arrived in Paris. Napoleon, or Nappy, as a few close friends called him, had figured out an ingenious method of training zombies to become soldiers. Rather, he contained them in large units and then let them loose on the enemy. These tactics almost allowed Nappy to rule the entire continent of Europe, but something undiscovered in zombie understanding was their inability to survive in cold temperatures. When Nappy invaded Russia, the entire zombie population was decimated and eradicated. Thus we see that the French Revolution was, in actuality, the first documentation of a zombie apocalypse.
That's all the time we have for now. Thank you for watching and please donate to Historical Accuracies by calling the number on your screen. Tune in next week as we discuss Titanic, Iceberg, or Nessie Relocated. Hello everyone! Zombies are actually connected to the French because they originated in the French colony of Haiti, although it wasn't until the 1968 film The Night of the Living Dead that zombies became the brain-eating monsters we know today. Thanks for watching! Thank you.